presidential elections. I'll take you through Form 9, Form 9 of CI 127. It provides, and I read, Presidential Election Results Coalition Form, Name of Constituency and District, Polling Station Code. So we expect that the chairperson of the Electoral Commission in declaring the presidential results will provide detail of the over 33,000 polling stations and their quotes and the respective votes received by Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Nana Adudankwa, well collated, which aggregation must give us the outcome of a presidential win. We will not accept anything other than what is provided for in law under CI 127. So presidential election results coalition form, polling station code. So it means every police station details must be provided. I again lead you to form 11. It's here, form 11. You also see she is to work in accord with law. Presidential regional results coalition form, name of constituency. So we expect that for each region, for instance, if you take northern region, you say Tamale South, Kumbungu, Savilugu. We want every single detail of the presidential performance of Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Nana Adidankwa Akufu Ado, and an aggregation of it. We do not want anybody to come and say that somebody has won the election by five or six million. When we cannot explain or understand what accounts for the aggregation and cumulative figure of five or six million. We want Form 11 to be respected, and we want uh, Form 12 is my additional evidence in law that must be provided. So I want to thank you, my And then Sefi Wiasu is one of the five. So you see a desperate government which is refusing to die. That the government say that when you want to kill a snake, kill it in the head. We will kill it in their head with the parliamentary seat of 140 and parliamentary majority to trigger our performance as the presidential election. So, Chairperson of Electoral Commission, to respect the letter and spirit of the laws of Ghana. And again, the fifth constituency is Safi Wiasu that they are desperately trying to overturn. They are compelling and forcing our party agents, again, using the military. We demand professionalism from the Ghana military and the Ghana police service. They should not allow themselves to be used for purposes of intimidation. Sooner than later, we'll be there. And Excellency John Mahama will assume office as Commander-in-Chief. We'll weed out, we'll weed out those miscreants and unprofessionals who are misconducting themselves. We are capturing some of them on video and let them be assured. No gun will install a president in this republic. And we have alerted our supporters across the country. We will respect the sovereign will of the Ghanaian people and the legitimacy of their terms, not the threat of a gun or a weapon by any policeman or any soldier. We refuse to be intimidated. You see them outside there, tell them if they want, they should point their guns to me. I'm not a coward and we are not cowards. Let them do it. We will not, we will not succumb or yield to those pressures. So, ladies and gentlemen of the media, demand from the chairperson of the Electoral Commission respect to CI 127 and how presidential results and its outcomes are declared and coalated, consistent with constituency and polling station results and aggregation. Demand that there is no recount per our laws at coalition centers. Coalition centers are centers for aggregation of results. Parliamentary results we know because we have agents who, who aggregate polling station performance and feed us in. We know we have a majority of 140. God bless. My senior colleague will address you on the security issue. Your voice is coming. The the So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our director of operations will address you. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I think that the uh, Honorable Haruna has touched on the crux of the matter. I will just add on. The first thing I want to say is that at this stage, we should be talking about transparency of the elections, 
We should be talking about credibility of the elections and we should be talking about a peaceful Ghana. So that is what should be engaging our minds. And anything that seeks to undermine this, we should all abhor. And that is, I mean, what I have to tell you. First of all, like Honorable Haruna has said, this is a simple matter. We are in to vote. Voting is done at the polling station. And the results are declared at the polling station. So everybody knows what, you know, was uh, voted for. The will of the people is expressed at the polling station. So if you have enough time and uh, effort, you could just sit down yourself and add up all those things, and the, and the results will be clear to you. Now, what is important is that if you, want, if you try to undermine the will of the people, we are going to have a problem. Because as director of operations, I'm already having so much pressure on, on myself. Because our support base will not accept the situation where people like me sit down and allow the results to be undermined. And like uh, Honorable Haruna has said, that has become clear now. Let me say that we have all agreed on how these elections will be conducted. I mean, by law, regulations, and all the discussions that have gone on between the parties before we went for voting. Nowhere in there was it said that soldiers will be required at the polling station. Or collation center. Or the collation center. So, if we have a situation where soldiers can go to a, a polling station or a constituency collation center, and do some shooting that kills two people and wounds seven, then you can imagine the kind of pressure that is coming on me. If soldiers can shoot in Savelego and kill one young man, then you can imagine the kind of pressure that is being brought on us. Central, two dead. A black man central, two dead out of shooting. This is just an election, you know. And like I'm saying, the results are there. The results are there at the polling station, and they can be added. Look at what happened in Rodeo Look at what happened to Nilante. The main thing here is that our military should be professional and stay out of this election. This is a simple election. We vote, we count, whoever wins has won. The law prescribes how the results should be found out. Like I said, the appropriate forms have to be filled. My understanding as Director of Operations is that Going by this simple way of collating the results from the various polling stations, the NBC has won 140 parliamentary seats. And on course to win the presidential. Now, members of the media, what I want to tell you is that it's a lot of pressure on me when anybody tries to subvert this. Because then the other side is not going to agree. And Pressure will then be brought on people like us to ensure that that does not happen. What I, I told you from the beginning that we have to talk about transparency, credibility, and peace. And that is my concern. The tension that is brewing down there can lead to a disruption. And we all have a responsibility to safeguard the integrity of this country, the peace in this country. You see, we have asked our supporters in the constituencies involved, those five constituencies that uh, Aruna, uh, Honorable Aruna mentioned, to stand their ground. They should stand their ground for fairness and insist that the right thing be done. There will be absolutely no impunity here, and nobody is going to accept any impunity. We will all do things according to the rule of law, and that is all that is going to be accepted. Let me say again, that there is a lot of tension brewing up amongst our support base because of the illegality, the impunity that is being brought to bear. And uh, you in the media too, I want to plead with you to contribute to this peace that we are all looking for. Let's have some peaceful elections. Ghana is known for that. Don't let us change it. For instance, UTV put up some results. And what did they do? They put the results for President Mahama gave that to uh, President Akufado and the other way around. That, that, that doesn't help. Because then you can see that people begin, hey, what's going on? Is the media? Peace FM also put up some uh, wrong. Joy FM also put up some, uh, some result. Where 17,000 is changed to 27,000. 
That's for Kintampunov. That does not help at all. So I would plead with you to remain through to transparency, credibility, and peace. And if you want to do that, you must be diligent. You must be diligent about what you do. We are all relying on you. The people of Ghana are relying on you because you are the people carrying the information. And where it is wrong, please be bold enough to say it is wrong. Where it is right, please stand up and support it. Because we don't want any disruption in this country. But any attempt to steal this election, I can assure you from what I see, that there is going to be quite some disruption in this place, and nobody is going to like it. Okay, sir. The consequences will be such that nobody is going to like it. Yeah. I want to thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the message is simple. We have won 140 parliamentary seats. The MPP is trying to steal five with state-sponsored gun violence. And our minority leader has spoken, our director of operations have spoken, the leadership of the party have spoken. We are not going to allow that. Supporters there should stand their ground. We will not allow them to change the results because we have all the certified pink sheets. We thank you very much. Max, Max, Max.